Hi, I'm Brandon. Hi, I'm Autram, and we're with Oldham Group at Compass, and we're here to give you your mid-year market updates. So, is the market collapsing? The simple answer to that is no. It's not collapsing, it's correcting. Anytime there's something dramatic that happens in the market, people always like to compare it to the 2008 housing crisis. Yes, that was a housing crisis fueled by a mortgage crisis. Anybody with a pulse back then could get a loan. Nowadays, lender restrictions are extremely strict on exactly who gets what. But are we seeing more price reduction and more days on the market? So we are, the market is softening a little bit. Homes are sitting into an average of 20 to 25 days, whereas compared to last year, you put a home on the market and it'd be sold in a couple of days. Um, the average days on market last time this year was around 15. So yes, we are definitely seeing a softening in the market, but it's a long time overdue. Because last year's appreciation was 23%, that is something that is not sustainable. So going forward, things are gonna be a little bit more realistic. Fannie Mae is actually predicting positive appreciation in this year of 2022, despite the increase in rise in interest rates. Good point, interest rates have doubled this year and it's projected that the rates are gonna continue rising. So, the big question, is it a good time to buy or sell real estate? That is the magic question, and I can only put it into perspective on what I would do. So I kind of break this down into two different sides of things, right? The buyer and the seller. Now the buyer, if I'm planning to take out a loan these days, I'm considering buying right now. Rates, yes, they have gone up, but they are still projected, like you said, to continue going up, and I'm gonna get priced out if I wait too long. Now, if I'm a buyer paying all cash, I might wanna wait a little bit longer to see exactly what happens in the next few months. If things cool off even more, prices go up, prices go down, I'd like to see and I'd like to have that cash on hand. Selling. Now, if I'm needing to sell, I might be considering selling in the next few months. Historically speaking, we usually have a little drop down in seasonalities on the chart, which you can check out below. We have a full detailed list about all market data, all real estate data that you can dive into. But seasonality does play a factor in real estate. Everybody knows that. And if rates are gonna continue going up, more and more buyers are gonna drop out of the market. So if you're a buyer or seller in today's market, I can't stress enough how important it is to have a true real estate professional in your corner, helping you navigate these times. That's why we've included our free market flipbook down below for you to look through. We hope you guys find the flipbooks useful. As always, we're here to help you, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm Autram. And I'm Brandon. And we're with Oldham Group at Compass. Thank you so much. Bye.